Greetings from 2K Sports. Well, well, we're still in the stage of the season where new teammates might not be in sync, RJ. How long do you think it takes for a team to gel? Well, it depends on the amount of turnover. If you're talking about adding... one or two different guys that's something versus adding five or six after training camp and preseason teammates have a better chance to kind of figure things out and they should be on the same page by now the starters for the golden state warriors the core of the dynasty all on the floor curry and clay the guards with draymond up front at the four to michael green out there with andrew wiggins now here's Thompson. Pass to Green. Outside Curry. The three from Thompson. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. And this is Thompson's shot. One of the most gifted outside shooters the NBA, the world, has ever seen. Booker against Thompson. Booker, good. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. So it's the Warriors now. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Got a piece of it. Aiton, a screen on Thompson. Here's Booker. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Calls the play, and Booker executes to perfection. Curry against Paul. From deep three-point range, Curry's shot is off. For Phoenix, they've gone two of three from the floor. A Kogi on the wing. Here's Aiton. And he can't get that one. And Golden State will come the other way. The Suns beat them last time when these two met in Phoenix. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. And a lot of that begins with effort. Putting in the work and closing out possession should make this a much more contested game. Excellent timing by Aiden on the alley-oop pass. He's perfectly positioned to throw it down. And a deep three from Curry. And Aiden pulls it down. The Suns have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Durant against Green. Here's Aiton. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Aiton's gotten his second bucket of the game. And it didn't take long for Phoenix to match the offer she Aiton signed with the Indiana Pacers. Now, there was talk they might let Aiton walk after that fallout during their playoff exit. But Phoenix knew they needed to keep Aiton to remain a contender. Now here's Curry. Last game for him, he had 14. Thompson finds Curry. Six to shoot. Back to Thompson. Looking to end the drought. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. They're coming off that win against the Heat. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, despite the challenges of being away from home, they were able to execute cleanly and look really fresh out there. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Ball against Curry. Thompson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. And we think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, B.A. 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Klay Thompson, guys. Now here's Wiggins. What a tremendous game he played against San Antonio. Thompson, no good. Still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. Here's Paul. Second chance effort. And scoring with the play inside is Aiton. Aiton's got six. I mean, come on, a seven-footer with a 7'5 seven wingspan. Aiden beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Now here's Wiggins. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. 
Green, the pass to Curry. He can't get that one to fall. And Phoenix the other way now. Pass to Okogi. And here's Durant. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. In 2008, Kevin Durant ran away with the Rookie of the Year award. It wasn't even really close. And still, I'm not sure we realize what an all-time great he'd become. Turns out that Durant's rookie season was the worst of his career, Richard. And he was fantastic that year. But within two seasons, he'd become the league leader in scoring. His rebounding would improve, and by then, we knew we were watching a Hall of Fame. The kick out to Wiggins. The Warriors miss again. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Thompson against Booker. Durant with a screen on Thompson. Booker. Oh, Green with a block. More of a positional defender. That time, Green sends it back. Kept alive. Oh, and the jam by Ayton. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And while it might be very early in the season, never too soon to take a look at the power rankings. See how the teams are stacking up. Taking a look at New Orleans. They're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. Well, right now for the Suns, their start hasn't been as good as everyone would have hoped. But they're still in the mix and a viable threat to win the championship. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Suns. It was good to see Andrew Wiggins make his first all-star team in 2022. For a player with such a great career, it was long overdue. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Thompson outside. The three ball. Durant pulls it in. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Well, Wiggins didn't just get an all-star selection in 2022. Richard, he was picked as a starter. And that's saying something for a man who isn't always the focal point of his team's yeah, offense. Wiggins doesn't need to be the main guy. He wants to be the glue that holds the team together. Now here's Booker. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Miami. Putting others before himself, racking up assists. Hey, I wish I played with more guys like him. Booker with it. Defended by Thompson. Durant for three. This is another. He's 0 for 4. I mean, he's yet to make a shot this quarter. At some point, you got to look for other ways to impact the game. Curry, no good. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Ball passes to Aiden. Over Green. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. The three from Thompson. Phoenix grabs the miss. Hayden's got his sixth rebound on the night. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Booker. Oh, nice D from Curry. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Man, that one's good. Thompson. Nice timing on the pass from Green, finding the open guy with ease. Phoenix calls timeout, and it's a completely new group for the Suns. Here are the NBA's premier... The Warriors trailing. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. Ty Jerome is out there with Stephen Curry. Then it's Clay Thompson. Then it's Andre Iguodala. And it's Green in at the five. Now here's Green. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Zero fear in Green's game. Loves mixing it up down low. Here's Booker. Goes up on the wing. Two points. That one goes. Booker's got eight points. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Here's Jerome. 
14 points for him last game against San Antonio. And that one's good. Thompson. This is something that Clay works on all the time, even though he is already elite at it. He readies himself to fire once he catches that ball. Now here's Booker. The turnaround, Jay. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Man, I love that turnaround jumper. What a tough shot to defend. And here's Curry. A reliable go-to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. Iguodala with a screen on Paul. Curry's shot is off. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Outside Booker. Good, and that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. And he's made his mark on offense especially. they got to be thankful he's on their spot. Iguodala outside. Green with a screen on Paul. And a deep three from Curry. Okogie pulls down the board. Okogie's got four rebounds in the game. Now Booker. He's got 12. Fires for three. Again, the Suns good for two. He's just got it on automatic right now, shooting 100%. And that'll keep your confidence up. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They grant so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans. But they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Now here's Curry, looking for his first basket still in this one. To the inside. Durant against Iguodala. Green, a screen. Pass to Jerome, four on the clock. And again, no good by Golden State. The Suns leading. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Here's Paul. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Paul's got his first bucket in this one. There aren't a lot of guys in this league who shoot mid-range, but Paul, he's one of them. Thompson, a screen on Paul. Shot is good by Curry. The Suns have gotten off to a sensational 5-for-5 five five start in the second quarter. It's Booker on the wing. 14 points for him. Pass to Paul. Here's Aiden. The ramp for three. Second shot opportunity. And it's finished off by Aiden as he lays it in. Aiden's got 10 points. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Now Green. Here's Jerome. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Now here's Curry. And Booker pulls it down. Down low. Here's Aiton. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Draymond Green. got to be careful how you guard Aiton. He's so creative at finding ways to draw fouls. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. To the right side, here's Jerome. Hits a three-pointer. Jerome's got his first three points of the game. Just an unselfish play from Curry, always ready to move the ball and his body to help an open shooter. Now here's Booker. The D's right on him. Aiden, the screen on Curry. Booker for three. He's now eight for 11 after that made shot. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Thompson outside. Out to the right wing. Jerome. 
Three-pointer off the mark. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Booker against Curry. Pass to Paul. Back to Booker. Shoots over Curry. And another basket for Phoenix. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Iguodala sets a screen. Curry's shot is off. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Count it. Much more efficient this quarter. Feeling more and more confident. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. Now here's Thompson. A 23-point game for him in the win against San Antonio. Paul with a steal. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Clay Thompson picks one up. For his career, Durant's about 90% at the line. Green for three. And that's not going to go. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back. Hey, everybody. Always a fascinating story. Our first order of business. Let's catch you up on some trades around the league. Do you two think you'd be any good in the GM seat? Oh, Making yeah. Making trade moves? Oh, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'll be good at that. I'm good at reaching across the table to negotiate big trades. Yeah, right. Have you ever been able to reach across the table with those little arms? An expression shot. It's just an expression. And now let's talk about the first half we just watched. A fantastic performance for the Suns. We talk about this. When something works, keep going to it until someone stops it. They've been living in the paint shot. Some people in the stands are already leaving for that. They're tasting that barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to... And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. They've... Leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with Josh Okoge, and it's Aiden in at the center position. And that's the group for Monty Williams as we begin the second half. And when Aiden isn't playing basketball, either the live or video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch, himself dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. Well, Richard, as a former player yourself, what's your take on stars demanding trades and jumping around the league so much? It's tough because I've seen the other thing happen to stars. Blake Griffin re-signs with the Clippers. They show him videos of putting his jersey in the rafters, and then he's traded a year later. So I think everybody has to figure out what is best for them, but you also have to try as an individual and as a professional to fulfill your obligations. And I think trades can be someplace in the middle of that. Paul passes to Booker. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. What you have to admire about Devin Booker is how much he scores the rock, as well as all the different ways he's able to finish. And Booker is a guy you can lean on to help shoulder the offensive load, Richard. Yeah, he's comfortable taking a lot of shots for his team. He's a volume shooter for a reason, because he understands how to score at an efficient clip, too. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul of the game. Second half. The basketball just over a minute played so far. 
Thompson with it. And it's Paul picking him up. Outside Booker. It goes. He's 10 for 13. So much confidence. He has no deficiencies. He has no flaws in his offensive game. Booker, he's capable of dropping 30 on any given night against any given player. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. And he's coming off a huge performance and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Booker with it. Give him 23. Okogie's shot is off. Green with the ball. And it's Paul picking him up. Green, the pass to Curry. Green, a screen. Here's Wiggins. And that one hits the back iron. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Curry with a seal. In transition, here come the Warriors. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. All right, let's take a look at some numbers for Andrew Wiggins. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. Pass to Okogi. Phoenix no good that time either. Rough start to the second half for them, only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Wiggins from long range. And again, no good by Golden State. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. It's Booker on the wing. He's covered by Curry. Here's Durant. Rebounded by Green. Green's got rebound number eight now. Even with a big goose egg by his name in the shot chart, the team is somehow managing just fine without him. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. Right side Durant. Outside Paul. And he makes it on the layup. Paul's got six. In the paint. Paul always stays nimble. That allows him to make adjustments that needed to beat the deal. Golden State, Golden State calls timeout. Jerome's checked in for Thompson. And here we have a rundown of the teams with the best rebounding numbers this season. Number one, the Suns. And I love how active they all are on the glass. When a shot goes up, this team takes a gang rebounding approach to tracking down their boards. Pulls up. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got five points in the quarter. When Curry gets a look that's good, he is automatic. There is almost no stopping him. Paul passes to Durant. Now here's Booker. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. Back to Booker. Shot clock at six. Up top, Paul. Over Wiggins. Here's a Kogi. And this half has been a totally different story from deep. Having a harder time getting shots to fall. It's good. Jerome. Jerome's gotten his second bucket. And making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. Outside Booker. Pass to eight. A 17-footer. That one a little long. The Warriors have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. One thing you notice about these Suns, RJ, many of them are considered strong two-way talents. And that is such a list for your team. Having guys that can get it done on both sides of the floor instead of trying to balance a lineup of just pure specialists. Baseline try. Oh, Green with a block. Pass to Curry. Back to Green. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. And now just a five-point Phoenix lead. 
Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Here's a three from Paul. He buries it from three. Paul's got nine. By no means a volume three-point shooter. Paul picks his spots and is very accurate. Green finds Curry from deep. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Aiden's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Left side, Booker. Pass to Okogi. The three. And the Suns get another three. Great decision making from Booker. Realizing one of his guys is open and whips the pass to him. Outside Curry. Back to Jerome. Takes the three. The shot won't fall. And Phoenix the other way now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Outside Booker. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. Golden State has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Out to the right wing. From deep. Jerome, no good. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. From downtown. Suns keep it alive. It's Booker on the wing. Outside Paul. Outside Booker. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Booker. We are now into November. So let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You take a look at the Suns. In second now, but wanting to claim that top seed. And of course the Warriors behind four and a half games. Well, I think for Golden State, their slow start has revealed some of this team's problems. Problems that we didn't really know they had. The one positive is that it's early. You don't want to peak too soon, and they are far from their peak. We know how good a team like this is, and they have a lot of time to turn it around. Here's Poole. Soft touch off the glass. Poole's got nine. What a job Wiggins has done with his passing skills. Significantly improved over the years. Booker, the pass to Warren. Back to Booker. Oh, sweet move. And Booker with the jam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Back to Green. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. So much to say about Draymond's game. Tough to say anyone else in the league has a larger impact on their team on both sides of the floor. And Richard, the weight that Draymond carries for this team can't be forgotten. The impact he has on the defense alone is remarkable. But then you factor in the offense ability, bringing the ball up the floor. There is no doubt he is the vocal leader and the heartbeat. Ross can't get it to go. The Warriors have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. And it's hammered home by Green. And I like seeing Green go up for that flush, showing how powerful he can be. Ross with a screen on Payton. An open look for Booker. Gets an open look and hits it. Booker's got eight here in this quarter. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Pass to Baisley. And here's Warren. And here's Booker. 27 points for him. Back to Warren. Tipped. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. A chance to check out the Phoenix Suns' upcoming schedule. On Friday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Utah Jazz. Then on Sunday, the New York Knicks come to town, kicking off a homestand for them. It's no secret around the league that this team loves playing in their own building. They're loaded with home games over the next stretch, so this is a chance to win some ball games. Here's Booker, and Booker with the jam. Yeah, and you don't want to let Devin Booker get easy points in transition. And the Warriors shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Inside, Green. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And watching Draymond Green play, 
Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions. The Suns making a switch here. Booker's checked in. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Jerome. There's 49 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Poole against Booker. The three is up. Pure from three-point range. Second foul of the game. Team is in the Pool with a ball. Warren covering. Yep, that one goes. Thompson's got seven points here in the quarter. We all know Clay can hit this. His accuracy from the mid range is a reliable option, to say the least. Warren with a screen on Pool. Warriors with the rebound. It's Poole on the wing. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. And here at the end of the third, it's a... Double-digit ball game. The Suns on top. They lead by 14. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Ladies and gentlemen, your Suns. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets, Curry, Clay, and Poole. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Green. Durant with a screen on Poole. For three, Booker drops in the three. Booker's got 38 points. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Curry passes to Thompson. Shot on the wing. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Durant's got his sixth rebound on the night. Paul, and the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Horrible mistake right there. You hate to see unforced turnovers like that. The Warriors shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. Poole finds Curry. There's the three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Durant's got rebound number seven tonight. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Curry passes to Thompson. And the Warriors miss again. He had it flowing from long range in the first half. Not sure what changed. Aiden, a screen on Poole. Pass to Aiden. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got assist number five here tonight. Well, Devin Booker has really developed his pick and roll game. And let me tell you this, playing with CP3, that will help. The three from Thompson knocks it down from distance. 
Thompson's got 26 points. And he knocked down four triples in the first half. You got to stay in his hip pocket. Up top, Aiden. It's Booker on the wing. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Booker's got 40 points. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. To the paint. Excellent D there from Booker. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. The Warriors have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. On the wing, Curry from the arc. And Aiden pulls it down. And that's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. Here's Durant. And Kevin Durant post Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Grant. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Outside Paul. And Booker gets double teamed. A Kogi on the wing. Outside Durant. Clock at six. Offline with a three. Not himself from range right now. But the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Here's Poole. Converts on the jumper. An easy two. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Outside Paul to the middle. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Paul. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Curry finds Thompson. Now Curry. And there's a defensive three-second call. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. And he shows the focus there. Nails the tee. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Golden State Warriors are back. Pool for three. And the Warriors get it back. The three is up. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Durant's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Booker. And Booker with the jam. There is no on-off switch for Booker. He is always in attack mode. Golden State is gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to form. Booker drawing the double. Here's Aiden, and it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star, and then last year he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. Poole finds Curry. Three-pointer. And the... Another three! Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Booker against Poole. Pass to Okogi. Here's Booker. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Booker's got 44. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. Five on the clock. Pass to Poole. And here's Thompson for three. Hauled in by Paul. The Suns have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. And Booker gets double teamed. Down low. A Kogi on the wing. Booker with it. Oh, 
Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Green. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. The thing about Booker is he rarely has an off night. He's one of the most consistent shooters in the league. Looney's checked in for Poole. Thompson with it. Now guarded by Booker. Outside, Green. Aiden against Looney. The three from Curry. Gets the three ball to go. Curry's got 11 in the second half. Just another day at the office for Mr. Curry. And Booker gets double teamed. It's Booker on the wing. Here's Aiden. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Pass to Looney. Back to Thompson. From outside the arc. And the Warriors with another three. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Ball passes to Booker. Shot is up. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. The pure shot mechanics of Booker. It's fun watching him shoot the ball. Thompson against Booker. Looney, a screen on Booker. Here's Thompson with nobody on him. He buries that jumper. Thompson's got 32 points in the game. For his sake, I hope they can come back. You hate to see the performance he's having be wasted in a loss. Back to Paul. Right side to Ram. No good on the triple. And the Warriors shooting around 53% on the fourth. Curry passes to Thompson. Another three for Golden State. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Pass to Okogi. Here's Booker. Durant with a screen on Thompson. Booker fires from way outside. Here's Aiton. That one no good. Looney with some nice D. Outside Curry. Inside, outside for Green. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiden. For Phoenix, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. With the step back, here's Booker. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Booker's got 49 in the game. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Left side Curry. And it's good for two. A nice rhythm to his game here late. He's hit three out of four this quarter, looking to put him over the top. Booker, the pass to Aiden. And he makes it. Aiden's got eight points here in the quarter. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Thompson outside. Banked it in off the glass. Thompson's got 37. Uh-oh, look, we've seen Thompson fill it up in a hurry before scoring comes, let's just say, easy to him. And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga. Curry against Paul. Outside Booker. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Durant. Three-pointer. Suns keep it alive. Here's Aiton. And Booker gets double-teamed. For three, Durant. The shot no good. And Golden State will come the other way. Curry with it. Now guarded by Booker. And it's in there. And it's now only a five-point Suns lead. Plays with a bit of quiet intensity, but Wiggins has shown the ability to rise up in the big moments. And Booker gets double teamed. Ball passes to Booker. And again. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Make no mistake, Devin Booker is a shooter. If he sees a chance, he is going to take it. Curry, no good. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. 
And Hooker, here we go. And Hooker with the jam. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. Curry against Paul. Here's Thompson. No good off the front rim. And the Suns shooting it at 52%. And Booker throws it down. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Suns. I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed powerless to stop them down low, resulting in plenty of high percentage shots for them. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11. And they've had their fingerprints all over this series, winning two straight and looking like they have this team's number. And what a huge performance it was for Devin Booker. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. From outside, off the mark. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Peyton with it. Picked up by Craig. And that one's good. With all the attention Clay gets, he can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. Booker fires from way outside. Iguodala with the rebound. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. So the Suns win it. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kevin, this was a huge statement win for this team. How satisfying. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.